What's up everybody, this is Richard Rabel. I'm going to show you how to record gameplay of video games on your computer using a really cool program called Wii Game, which also lets you upload and share your videos to the web. Keep in mind that you can only use this program for computer games. It's not going to work for a console like Xbox or PlayStation 3. So the first thing that you want to do is go to WiiGame.com to download the program click on download client and make sure you check the system requirements I'm actually using Windows 7 and it works just fine even though Windows 7 isn't listed here under operating systems you also want to make sure you've got plenty of space on your hard drive especially if you plan to capture long videos with large file sizes next click download and go through all the usual steps to save the program and get it running I'm going to skip past the rest of those steps and assume you get the program installed. Once you've installed the program, go ahead and open it. I'm already logged in, but if this is the first time you're using the program, you'll be prompted with a login screen, and you'll need to create an account if you haven't already done so. Once you do that, you'll be taken to this default control panel with the Home tab highlighted. From here, what you want to do is click Settings. Under Save My Videos 2, choose the folder on your computer where you want the videos to be stored once you've created them. Next, choose your Record Hotkey. This is the keyboard button you'll press when you want to start recording gameplay. I've chosen H for now, but I might change this if I play a game where the H key is reserved for something else in the game itself. Then in the Recording Options area, you can enable or disable the sound recording, which means you can choose to capture or not to capture the sound within the game. I usually keep the sound recording enabled. You can also specify the FPS, or frames per second. The higher this number, the better the quality of your video, but also the larger your file size. I just keep the default 20 FPS. I found that to be a good quality for a more moderate file size. Now go to recording mode. Your selection here will depend on what you want to do with your video. I like to share my videos online, so I keep the web recording option selected. Once you do all that, click Save Settings, but don't close the program just yet. You need to keep it running in the background while you play your game. And now it's time to launch your game. I'm going to open Dragon Age Origins, a role-playing game made by the ever-famous developer Bioware. Once the game is launched, you should see a small green square in the upper left hand corner of the screen. That lets you know that at any time, you can press the hotkey you specified earlier to begin recording. But first, I'm going to open my latest save. And here we are in the game. The green square is still there to indicate I'm not recording, but that I can whenever I want. I'm going to press H on my keyboard now and the green square disappears to indicate I'm recording. So I'll go and talk to one of my characters. Yes. In the interest of time, I'll cut this short. As you wish. And let's say that's all that I want to record for now. So I will press H on my keyboard again. And the green square reappears to indicate that I've stopped recording. So now to view the video, I need to quit the game and return to my desktop. When you're done recording and you want to retrieve the video you just made, you have a few options. You can open Windows Explorer and navigate to the folder you specified earlier as a storage location, or you can access the video through your Wii game interface. Just click on the Videos tab, and you'll see a list of the videos you've created, all in .avi format. I can click the play button for the video I just made and a window pops up and it starts playing. As this button shows, you can also upload the video to WeGame.com for others to see, rate, and comment on. You can also upload the video to YouTube or some other online video hosting service and share it on the web or embed it in your website. Well, that ends the tutorial. Thanks for watching.